Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It is currently 7.31 p.m. and it's actually 7.31 p.m. I have been time traveling for the past week or so to get one of three villagers to leave. And, uh, you know, Ozzy's birthday was, I think it was yesterday, and I had been going back and forth and remembering to celebrate his birthday at least four times. And the one time, the one time that I miss his birthday is the time that he decides to leave the next day. So we currently have him in boxes. I was hoping to get him to another island to stay and have a snack buddy with, but it looks like he's going to be voided. And, you know, I thought this would be a really great time to look for our favorite girl, well, one of our favorite girls, it's Eunice. And I've mentioned about wanting Eunice for a while. And, you know, in a different, you know, way of going about a villager hunt is I thought it'd be really interesting to do a villager hunt with the number of Nook Miles tickets based on their amiibo number. And so it would be hard to say do an amiibo number with Vivian, who is one. So you'd have one Nook Miles ticket and hoping for the best. Or, you know, you have Raymond, who is number 453. So you'd have 453 Nook Miles tickets. But thankfully, thankfully, our girl Eunice is 81. And so we're going to see whether or not we can get Eunice in 81 tickets. I don't know what we're going to expect. I do need to get some, <laughs> uh, I'm actually very low on wood and very low on uh, stone. So instead of doing a live stream for this particular uh, villager hunt, I thought this would be really cool to, you know, start that process of doing the amiibo number villager hunt challenge. So if you have another streamer, a very much beloved streamer that you would like to do the amiibo challenge by all means ask them to do it but today we're going to have kk slider kind of just set the tone for our wonderful villager hunt and we're going to get started so let's do it Ooh, KK Flamenco? Let's do it. I'm already I'm already going to uh to tell that this villager hunt is going to be a bit crazy and filled with so many shenanigans, so let's sit back and relax and enjoy some KK slider music. I also need to figure out what would you wear to meet Eunice and my husband was saying you know what happens if you see Vesta what are you going to do and I told him I'm basically going to just cry because Vesta was on my other island and I think I just like the sheep villagers in general but Vesta was just kind of like my girl so if we see Vesta, it's going to be really hard. And if we see Raymond, jeez, oh, there's just there's so many villagers that I want to see, and there are so many villagers that I want on the other island. So if everyone but Eunice shows up, I'm going to be so upset. But it was a good day today, you know. We uh, we made fajitas with homemade tortillas. We made homemade danishes and you know it's just it's a nice chill saturday the air pollution in korea is uh, not not it's not its best right now but hopefully with the rain it'll wash that all away and uh tomorrow is you know mother's day and mother's day is kind of it's iffy for a lot of people i know that with the current update with nintendo there was hope that instead of just having mom send you mail that you could perhaps pick your dad or a sibling or, you know, another family member, but, you know, whatever day, whatever, like, whatever that holiday means for you, I hope that you first and foremost, you mother yourself and you give yourself as much self-care as possible. And, you know, just enjoy watching Animal Crossing villager hunts because I know that I do. And oh, we're almost done. We're almost done. Oh, KK Slider, bravo, sir, bravo. 
Thank you for setting the tone. And with that, we're going to time travel to the next day. But first, we should probably say goodbye to Ozzy. That would be important. That was like unreal. Thanks for tuning that and dialing in my direction. Fantastic. So let's go say goodbye to Ozzy. I moved him on the, uh, oh, coach, come on. I moved him on the beach to start developing this area a little bit better. I'm sort of getting there. Uh, I may end up moving Pashmina away from, oh man, everyone's out, goodness. I may be moving Pashmina and putting the laundromat here because, you know, she's right across from the Able Sisters, so I think we may be doing that. But luckily, luckily, I've uh, come into contact with some good mons, and uh, we're not going to have to worry about that. Oh, Pashmina. Pashmina's been wanting to leave, so we're just going to ignore her. But let's go say goodbye to Ozzy one last time. And hopefully no one on Reddit or uh, Nookazon has uh, requested that... Ozzy graced them with their presence. And oh, I remember when I gave you that hat. Yeah, it was, it was when Winnie was being particularly culty. Aw. Oh, Ozzy, no, don't put everything you find in your mouth. Do you understand that we're in a pandemic right now? You need to, like, wash your hands. Oh. oh, oh, well... I've had some really lovely people visit my island, so hopefully Ozzy ends up on theirs, hopefully, and uh, we'll give him a face mask and some hand sanitizer, but let's let's get started. So I'm going to... Oh, Nana. Oh my goodness. These were the other two that I was hoping to ask to leave at some point. Nana has thankfully given me her her photo, and I've had Naomi before, so I already have her photo, but... It's okay, it does mean that we have an opening for some new villagers then, I guess. So let's let's see what we've got. So because Eunice is number 81, we're going to get 81 Nook Miles tickets. And you will not be asking me how I have 81 Nook Miles tickets, please and thank you. I refuse to be judged. Uh, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and we'll just remove that last one. So, and we'll have enough space for when I go on my putting, like getting all of the stuff, like wood and, and stone and things. So let's get rid of that. Oh, what the heck. Yeah. Oh, can I even get by? Oh, that was a bad decision. That was a bad decision, because how am I going to get dressed to meet Eunice? And what do you even wear to someone who has a laundromat in their house? That's going to be a big question. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll deal with that when we come to it, but we're going to time travel to the next morning. So about 11 hours or so? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do 11 hours. We'll get started as early as possible, and we'll see how this, uh, how this goes. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, so we have time traveled to the next day. I am currently dressed and ready to go, and, uh, we're going to just see what we have ahead of us. I'm, I'm actually very nervous. I know that 81 tickets feels like a lot. Actually, just to make sure I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. All right. Just checking. Always nervous. All right. So we're going to use that number one ticket to, uh, to see what sort of friends we're going to find. And, oh my God, I'm just so nervous. I'm so nervous. I really do want Eunice on, on the island in a bad way. Like Eunice is just so cool. She's such a sweetie pie. She's probably one of the cuter, if not the cutest uh, sheep villagers, and I'm biased because Vesta to me is the most adorable, so here's hoping, here's hoping. Oh my goodness. 
But if if we get Rocket the first time around, it's just it's game over. It's just game over. I didn't hit her with a net last time. I hit bubbles, but if if she's number one on on a uh, Mystery Island tour, I feel like I feel like this is going to be cursed. Truly. Okay. Well, we're just gonna see. All right, who do we have? Who do we have? Is that... is that Soleil? Soleil? Oh my gosh, Soleil, you just look like... oh my goodness, oh goodness. Oh, what an interesting design for her. She's got like really blonde hair, super orange tan skin, oh. Oh, no, the... Soleil, it's not your fault, but I just, I can't. I can't. Your, uh, your fur color is kind of triggering to me right now, so I'm just going to start collecting things and, uh, not make, uh, you know, not waste. So we're just gonna do that really quickly, and then we'll move on to the second one. All right, so let's see. Who is number two? No! Ugh. Ugh. This is why you never randomly press buttons. You have to be very clear about it. Ugh. Okay. But yeah, Old Port seems to be building pretty well. It's going a lot slower than I anticipated. I don't know. I just... I know that the you can do anything with your island, right? You can you can terraform it, you can flatten it, you can have to be with the the rivers the way it is. I just for some reason I I try to keep true to the island design for the most part, but that is causing a bit of issue with trying to make the front of the island as developed as possible and kind of becoming more destitute and problematic in the back and you know i've moved the campsite to the back i've uh oh who do we have who do we have oh now i find pate are you serious are you serious so so in keeping up with the lore because there's so much lore going on in this uh this freaking channel so I had a fairy tale theme on Everkeep, right? And so one of the fairy tales that I wanted to feature was the Ugly Duckling. And it was either going to be Pate or Freckles. And Freckles arrived on my island and she was a delight, but oh my gosh, just look at her. Oh, well, you can't really see her, but like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's like a little cave duckling. Oh my goodness, those eyebrows though. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Ah, I think this is the first time I've ever met Pate on the wild. Oh man. Ugh. Why can't you be Eunice? Why, where were you a couple of months ago? Okay, so, uh, all right, I'm gonna gather more resources and then we'll move on to number three. But you know, this isn't, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. I am, I am okay with this. Not bad, not bad. Two down and 79 to go. I don't, I don't know how, how I'm going to deal. Usually by, by 30, I'm done. Truly. Usually by 30, I'm just like, how, how about you just send Eunice to me because I'm manifesting her so hard right now. Let's, let's try that. So I don't know. Part of me would be disappointed if we got Eunice within like 10 tickets. Um, you know, but also, I would be equally disappointed if I used all of these tickets and uh, nothing transpired because I'm still I'm still sitting on the, you know, I'm going to use 81 tickets and do I just take whoever is the 81st or do I try to find Eunice elsewhere? I'm not sure. I'm that's that's something I'm a little nervous about, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Oh my gosh. 
the more that I sit on this, the more I'm like, if I was on the hunt for Ray, uh, for Raymond, I would have had, you know, over 400 tickets to, to deal with. But I also know that there are, there are YouTubers who searched for this one villager using hundreds and not able to find the one that they're looking for. So we'll see. I wonder if there's, if it's completely random or if voided villagers on islands that you visited or people who visited you, whether or not they take priority. Because in which case I would assume that there would just be Raymonds popping up all over the place, you know, because everyone apparently loves Raymond and would like to have him on his on their island. So we'll see. We'll see. But we have cherries this time. That's nice. That's nice. And who... Oh my gosh! Oh! Another bunny! Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany, you look dangerous. Oh dear. With lipstick and eyeshadow and... Is she wearing fishnets? What? What is this? Oh my gosh! Oh, oh dear. No, I feel like... I feel like you'd be problematic, Tiffany, and we're not looking for you, but I'll tell you what, Tiffany, I'll tell you what. When... when Naomi decides to leave us, I will happily happily take you on because I just I just feel like if we were in a horror movie you would be like just this glamorous bad bitch that would just like stab stab the killer and that would be the movie so yeah okay well that was that was a good choice I am digging the fact that first and foremost we are getting lady villagers which is what we're looking for but uh yeah and we are doing pretty well when it comes to getting resources so we're just gonna skip this but ooh, what do we get what do we get a pretty tulip wreath. Did I get- Oh, we learned a new thing! I leveled up in intelligence! Yeah! Okay, so let's do another one. So not bad. Not bad, people. I am- I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. I will <laughs> have to say that if we find mint on this, uh, on this, uh, on the search, I'm going to have to tell the organized gamer that I'm like, I'm so sorry, but I found- I found the one that you were looking for. <laughs> That would be awful. That would be awful. Oh my gosh. Okay. But let's let's keep going. Let's see. I wonder how long this will take me because we're already 32 minutes in and we've only we've only used 3. I may have to breeze through like uh, these 8 to see what what will will come forward, but so far, I am I am digging our choices. I, if I wasn't looking for anyone specifically, I feel like the ones that came up would be great. I'm not sure about Soleil though, or is it the French is Soleil, Soleil, right? Because there's Cirque du Soleil. Oh man, but Soleil is the type of one that would like push you off the trapeze, you know? Like, I just I feel like I'm getting problematic villagers and I'm I'm really okay with it. Tiffany and Soleil are good choices for problematic dramatic drama queens. So not bad, not bad, but I don't know. I'm going to miss Naomi when she leaves. I really will. Naomi has always been a top tier villager. I know that many people are kind of weirded out by her, you know, blue bovine beauty or her really, really intense red eyeshadow, but she has always been such a, a great villager and when she gets mad oh my god so funny her like just the villager stomping around in a huff is kind of the best i've had chev do it and <laughs> it's always about like someone has spoiled a book ending for her and she just gets so so huffy i'm trying to remember what what naomi got upset about i think it was something about fashion but yeah so let's see who is here I may have to chop some trees, depending on who... Oh, is this some... Who is this? Is this Bree? It's Bree! Aww. She's one of those mouse villagers that isn't bad. I've never had a mouse villager on my island, and I would really like to. Chatter is a, a top choice for me. Uh, he was on another island that I frequently visited and I just thought he was super cool. He is literally a mouse made of cheddar cheese. So 
especially for those um, food-based or food-themed uh, village, uh, villages and islands. I mean, he's pretty top tier. So I don't know if there was like, if I ever decided to do a kid core design island, I would probably do food themed and chatter would definitely be a top choice for that. So let's see. But Bree is okay. Like, oh, do I already know this one? All right, then I'll oop. do not hit the water. Let's just drop this. Let's let us litter. We'll commit ecocide and the next island, but not bad. This is still pretty good. We are on the right track, sort of. I think Bree is normal, right? I don't have my headset in, so I can't really hear the voices, unfortunately. Sometimes my headset lets me hear through OBS, and sometimes it doesn't. And so today is just, it's, it's definitely a not today, MK, not today. And I'm just hoping for the best. I'm really hoping for the best. I've checked multiple times to make sure that my microphone was not muted because that is a meme on this on this channel is that every time I start a live stream I am muted to some capacity and it's been awful. I think the longest that I was muted was 10 minutes and then there was one that was a couple of minutes and then my husband was in the same room as me thankful and he was like, you're muted, you're muted. And so, yeah. That that is that is why that is why you you need to have someone to check to make sure that you you've got your shiz together for sure for sure. All right, but we are we're doing pretty great. We're doing pretty great. Let's see who else that will be gracing us with their with their presence. So far, no sheep villagers though. I'm I I am not kidding. I may cry if Festa arrives because I would love to have her on my island again. I think she's one of the few villagers that I would have return and, you know, stay forever and ever. But yeah, no, Vesta, Vesta was a fantastic villager, especially when I started playing in the fall. Oh my gosh, she is the perfect, the perfect fall villager. And Eunice, I think you meet her while she's wearing a scarf. I mean, how adorable is that? Oh man. All right, who do we have? Who do we have? Can we see their, oh, do we have an Anka again? Oh my goodness, Anka, no. Oh no. Anka dear, you tend to, uh, to, to travel far because I think this is the fourth time I've seen you in the wild and I have your number, I do. I don't understand why it's like, I'm going to be amiiboing you in, I swear. Oh my gosh. I wasn't sure how I felt about Anka. I felt she was too thematic, but for the two weeks that I had her before I amiibooed her out, oh my gosh, she is a delight. Her, the hype for her is very well deserved. And I, I hate the, the notion that at one point I'm going to have Raymond on my island for whatever reason. Either I find him and I just take him because I need to have a nemesis. And then he just like, is completely and totally charming and I'm like no I'm too hipster to like you I can't I can't though I can't but no Anga's Anga's popularity is very well deserved oh ooh. free DIY we're gonna get this DIY and then we're gonna go is it something that I know A peach hat oh I learned buttford hat what oh that's gonna be awesome that's gonna be awesome the I'm doing some custom designs for a fashion line called Peachy Keen, so the design is, you know, based on peaches because my island's native fruit is the butt fruit, and I thought that'd be really cool. So having having the butt fruit hat's going to be great. So let's get back and try again. But so far, I this is an awesome, awesome hunt. I'm kind of sad that I'm not doing this live. Kind of bummed, but that's okay. That's okay. I wanted to start producing more videos without being live because um, I don't know if this is different from other people, but I feel like I'm better as a live streamer than I am recording videos. And mostly it's because I struggle with taking multiple takes without getting frustrated or, you know, remembering how to breathe. That's a problem that I have a lot when I start talking. And 
getting into a conversation in earnest, but I, I do want to start producing more Animal Crossing content that's not, you know, just building things. I, I feel like with how strong the community is, there's so much that can be put on YouTube that would be interesting to, to you know, add to it. So as I've mentioned in the past, my background's in conflict resolution. And so the idea of talking about hard topics or combining weird psychological stuff to Animal Crossing would be really cool to to do in my opinion. So I'm I'm really excited to get that started. But the fact the fact that Chev refuses to leave because she has it so good on Everkeep and the fact that my turnip prices have been so bad I can't do these two videos that I really want to do. And it'd be really funny if for example I had both both things happen at the same time so we'll see but those are my my two upcoming videos that i want to work on and uh, yeah it's going to be similar to the i'm going to do another amiibo number challenge for the nook miles tickets with bertha because i want bertha on my other island and yeah so who do we have who do we have Ellie, no! I also have your amiibo. What is this? What is this? Oh man, but she's... Oh my gosh, she is a delight. Look at that. She is adorable. Oh, Oh no, she is too cute. It looks pretty from the air. Clearly, clearly, Ellie, you know how to, uh, to lie. So you would do well on this island. It is not looking as, as good as you say it is. It is covered in weeds and partially finished paths, but I appreciate you lying to my face very much. Thank you. So let's keep going. But so far, as I've said, we, we are on kind of like a normal snooty focus. So how many more are there? You know, actually, how many more are there? And so let's, let's see how many, oh, I didn't check how many we have, but I'm pretty sure we're still in the, the first 10. Oh man, this is so stressful. So stressful. I'm I'm passing over some really lovely villagers. This is what what is this world coming to? Uh, if Raymond shows up, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> I don't know, maybe maybe I like secretly really want to like Raymond, but when I first saw him, I'm going, oh, but he's so overrated though. And the same with Marshall. And Marshall had been wanting to come to my island multiple times. So it's like, I don't know if it's just their popularity and the fact that their prices, the fact that there are prices for villagers on Nookazon that range to 10 million bells to me is egregious. And so I thought, ooh, that's another really cool uh, social experiment that I wanted to do is that I wanted to see whether or not that I could continuously amiibo in uh, Anka and give ungifted Ankas away for... Are you serious? Are you serious? <gasps> I have met a wild sherb in the wild. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is like a blessed villager hunt. I have been bestowed. Oh my gosh. Uh, so <laughs> there's a, uh, a, a YouTuber that I like to watch and you know, the sherb on her island is a serial killer and I just, I can't, I can't get that out of my head, but sherb, sherb is pretty cute. Um, I think he has become a favorite in the game and he does not have an amiibo similar to Raymond and Judy and I think Julian and there's one other, but I forgot, but oh my gosh, passing over sherb. Oh man. This is, this is what makes you a pariah in the game. I feel like when you see Anka and you pass over Sherb, it's like, it's like the game is saying, oh, you, you don't want lovely villagers. You, you want, you want the ones that you don't like multiple times in a row. I feel like I am, I am testing the Nintendo gods and I'm, I'm going to fall out of favor. And this is, this is going to be so sad, but Oh my god, that's so cool. I've never seen Sherb on a villager hunt before. That's so cool. And he is super cute. I don't 
know if I would ever want him though. He's either has learned helplessness or he actually secretly is a serial killer and I already have Winnie on my island and I just I can't I can't have I can't have two problems at the same time. I just need the one. Just the one. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe. Man, this is a really fun villager hunt. This is so cool. Okay, so who else? Who else? Who else would we get? I think I've met Judy already. I've already met Marshall. I don't think I've met Raymond yet. At least not on an on a, a mystery island tour. I've met him in dream addresses and he hasn't wowed me. Although I would say that when I've read his information, I guess the design for his house is based on being an advisor or a counselor. And I'm like, you know, you know, Raymond would be the person that would be a therapist for underprivileged youth or something. You know, he's actually secretly got a heart of gold, but, you know, society has worn him down and made him cynical. And I'm just like, Raymond, I can relate. I can relate. So let's see who we have. And if it's Raymond, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And if it's Bubbles, we have to. Who is this? Who is this Apple? Oh no. Okay, so uh, this is another villager that I think you either love her or you don't because when you stare into her eyes too long, you just realize that there's just a void that stares right back at you. And I just, mm, no, I've already met her. I've already met her. That's okay. How many do we have left? Okay, so we've gone through eight so far. Not bad. She doesn't need to know that we were there. She does not need to know. And, you know, she's not... I don't I don't dislike Apple if toxic positivity had an image in the dictionary. That would be Apple. Because she's like, yeah, the world's on fire, but everything's fine. We have to, like, keep going forward and just think positive thoughts. And I'm like, no. No, though. So let's not do that. Let's not put that energy on the island. Let's just create good old-fashioned horror and and just keep it classic you know let's just do that but i am a little worried based on apple's presence because we had some good ones we had some really good villagers and now it's getting into uh-oh territory so let's just hope for the best let's just hope for the best like good vibes good vibes all around and you know maybe it'll be eunice and maybe this villager hunt will be over who knows who knows, but that would be a bit disappointing. I have said that, right? Yeah, it would be a little disappointing. Oh, Tipper! You- I have seen you so many times. So many times. This is also another villager that I would take in a heartbeat if I could, because she just seems a delight. Okay, well, Tipper, thank you. You've, you have stopped the curse. That would have been terrible. So let's see, do we have any DIYs? Oh, Timber is sweet. She's also been on multiple people's islands that I frequently visit, and she just, I, I have no complaints against Tipper. Her name's kind of sad because it's, oh, do we have a peach wall? Oh, I already have a peach wall. Because it, cow tipping is, or was a very popular uh, event amongst uh, college frats who thought it'd be funny to go to nearby uh, f barns and things and knock cows over, which is awful. Do not tip over cows, please. Let's have best friends, okay? Like, they, they have two cows who will likely become best friends, and just like, why would you tip over an animal who is capable of, of best friendship. Actually, why would you tip over any animal anyway? But that's not the point. The point is, cows are precious. We do not deserve them, and just don't do that. But if you ever find Tipper out in the wild, you should absolutely invite her to your island. And I don't know, I don't know what Tipper's house looks like, but it seems that she would be unproblematic. So let's try another one. Oh man, but I really hope for the 2.0 update, if there is going to be a 2.0 update, that they streamline this. I mean, it just... I don't... do. Does Nintendo realize, like, how 
how many Mystery Island tours people are willing to do to get that one specific villager. Truly. Okay, who do we have? Who do we... Is this Rex? It is. Rex, there's a problem. You are not a lady villager. You are you are stepping into our groove and I just completely skipped over you. That is a problem. Okay. Elvis is cool looking. Like his... Are those his lashes? His eyebrows? I don't know. I don't know. Sir, what... What are you about? Because... I don't know. There, I know that many don't like the Lion Villagers. I actually really do. I, I have to say that Rory is fast becoming one of my top 10 favorite villagers, just having him on my island. And I don't, I don't see a problem with them. Maybe it's the, maybe it's the profile with the, the nose or something. I don't know, but the lions are not bad. I have no issue with them. I really don't. Plus, he, you know, he comes, he comes to your island like a king, you know? That's just, you know, good for him. Good for him knowing his self-worth. Or maybe that's a self-fulfilling prophecy because his name literally means king. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, manifest what you, what you want in life, right? All right, we have used ten. We have used 10 and we have 71 left and oh my gosh is this am i going to be here all night how, how long does it take to get through 81 tickets should i just streamline this i don't know i i streamlined it last time and i i really just i want eunice i really do just i want to create a really nice outdoor laundromat for her, you know, get her started on her own business. Supporting supporting small businesses is what I want to do, you know? And sheep villagers are incredibly comforting. There's just something about them. Maybe not Pietro, but it just... There's just something really just soft and fluffy about them. And you just, you just need a little bit of, of, of fluff, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but we just need to find our girl Eunice. Ooh, we have bamboo. Very nice. I have plenty of bamboo though. Okay. Oh, we have Mira. What? I don't think I've met Mira in a villager hunt either. Oh man, that's cool. I, I have an idea at some point. I, it may just be an old port version, but I was thinking for a following the Winter Wonderland idea that I have following finishing the uh, spectacular maze is I would love to do a superhero themed and like getting all of the, I don't know what the superhero uh, group is called, but like getting them, getting Mira, and then getting like Raymond as a villain and maybe Vladimir because Vladimir is a pink cub that has a really heavy brow and he just he just looks like he was part of some radioactive experiment that you know just has a, a Napoleon complex so does have a superhero themed island I want to see it I really do I want to see what you've done with it and if you've like created an entire city that's almost like Gotham, that would be so cool. That would be awesome. I wonder if that's going to be the next, um, the next theme that people try to do, because I think Jungle Core or Tropicore or whatever core suffix it is, is currently in vogue, but I, uh, I think that would be a, a cool different idea. It, that would be a really great reason to have like the Godzilla statue and the uh, the Transformer statue, I guess that's what it's called. And having them fight it out, oh, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. The mirror is a good choice. She's probably one of the, the few masked villagers. Like, 
you can't my biggest issue right with the the ones wearing helmets is that they don't remove their helmets they put things on top of their helmets which just it doesn't make sense to me and so i would rather them just tell me similar to them not being able to wear pants like none of the villagers can wear pants or shoes right and so i would rather them tell me that either they can't wear them or somehow their helmet becomes a mask that matches the color of their helmet and then they can wear the hat that would be awesome that would be so unique let's see who is this oh is this violet oh it's violet oh oh violet it's not your fault it really isn't but i can't i can't I think I've yet to find any of the lady gorillas that I remotely like. I think I would try Rilla just because she's a Sanrio villager and she would be interesting to have, but I just, oh, oh, Violet. All right, are we down to 70? We are down to 69. All right, let's let this be a good one. There's another villager that I haven't seen that I really want to. I don't think I've met Kit Kat yet. And I would like to meet Bob. Bob was one of the, I think he's a lazy villager, and I was looking for him and ended up with Lucky as my lazy villager to like, went back when Old Port was going to have six against four, but it turns out it's just Wenny, you know? And just Bob just seems like the sort of villager that's into some weird stuff, like super weird stuff, but it's it's so it's cool how he talks about it, you know what I mean? It'd be fun. He would be fun. I think he's one of those villagers that should get more love, I think. Anyway, let's see. Who do we Oh, is this? This isn't Avery, is it? It's Avery! Look at that! Look at me knowing my people! Also, his shirt is awesome. When does that shirt become available? Because I want to give that to Beryl so bad. Make him the hipster he's always wanted to be, but oh man. Ah, the Eagles kind of left a bad taste in my mouth after dealing with Frank. Frank was one of those cranky villagers that just did not mesh well with anybody. And I, I get it. There are some villagers that are more introverted than others and just don't want to hang out and be sociable, but he made no friends at all. And, you know, my husband makes fun of me for the fact that I was about to yeet him off my island simply because he just, he yelled at Graham for no apparent reason. I can't, I can't stand for that. You know, you can be grumpy, you can be cantankerous, you can have certain choice in friends and, you know, what time you want to stay up and what time you want to, to, like go to bed and be in your house and just not engage but at the same time this is a community in the middle of nowhere we kind of need each other to survive so best of luck to you avery so let's keep going i was i always worry we're going to just have a bunch of jock villagers and <laughs> we we just we don't we don't find what we're looking for and if we find antonio on this hunt i'm going to be so mad because antonio is a giant anteater and anteaters are one of the coolest animals in the world but that's not the point the point is is when i was looking up villagers that i'd perhaps want to start with back in october antonio was my number one pick like the sisterly villagers aside from rocket I had no issue with having, but um, I ha I wanted Antonio so bad, so bad. And he has showed up on villager hunts on my other island and I was just so mad. I, I can't, I can't even begin to describe how frustrating it is when you find villagers that you're looking for on the other island. And this is my absolute privilege showing and talking about having multiple islands, but it just, it's so frustrating, people. It's so frustrating. Aren't you... Oh, is this Croak? Oh my goodness. You are so cool looking. You are just a cranky boy. And your eyes go completely white when you're surprised. Oh, that's... That's insane. 
oh my gosh, and you just look so cool. So cool. Now now I'm I'm getting a little concerned. If we are if we're on a, a crank hunt, this is gonna be a problem. Because Eunice is not cranky. She is delightful. So let's bring some delightful vibes, please. How are we doing with Okay, we're building up our stone our stone stack. That's nice. I I know I was saying that, oh, I'm gonna take a little bit to to get some resources, but uh, I don't got time for that. I don't got time for that. I may do that here and there, and I'll just skip forward so that you don't have to see me hitting some trees and and avoiding bees. And they're not bees, Wilbur. They're wasps. They're wasps. Let's be real. I wonder what your villagers think about you just like going in and out of the airport and just seeing the the plane touch down only for you to leave again over and over. Environmentally speaking, that is such a waste of fuel and it's so bad for the environment. You know, we need to streamline this. My villagers don't need to know what I'm doing. Okay? Okay? They get all upset that I'm gone for a couple of days or that I'm not talking to them once. But, oh, and here's the thing about Ozzy that was so unique. And I don't know if this is just a lazy villager thing, but it, it has happened to multiple lazy villagers from other people so i i guess it can be confirmed but ozzy just disappeared from the island for various times there was a point where he was gone all day and i kept checking for him all like every couple of hours every time that i signed in and so vill uh, lazy villagers tend to go to sleep at about 11 pm right and so he was gone all through that evening and when 11 p.m. hit it went from him being out on a snack run to him being asleep and there was no change in you know whether or not he arrived and oh is this savannah oh my gosh we're just getting such lovely villagers oh my gosh oh oh i really do like the villagers that are based off of real animals like oh my gosh i need I, I may need to get to an African themed based on the biomes in Africa because you know Africa is a huge continent and there's just so much you can do with that but oh having a zebra oh it'd be so cool having a zebra a lion um I don't know are cranes on there I know that a South African penguin villager that I would love to have as well because that's my favorite penguin species but yeah, like, that would be really cool. That'd be really cool. And then having a part of the island that's just complete and total desert, that'd be really interesting. And of course, you'd have to have Anka, obviously. Obviously. Kyle would have to be a part of that because he is an African painted dog. I'm sure that you could find a, a rodent or a rabbit or something. I don't think rabbits are native to Africa, though. Or hares. Maybe there's hares. Not sure. I just want Eunice. I want unproblematic who just just wants to make it and and have a nice clean area where there's no issues because it would be nice. It would be nice to to have more businesses on Old Port. I have moved Colton and Coach next to each other because in like in in the game they're absolutely 100% together. Tendo has has missed an ample opportunity to combine LGBT awareness in June with you know wedding month. It's like we could have Flick and CJ get married or but at the same time, gay rights being human rights, it shouldn't stop at just marriage. That's that's the literal icing on the cake. We need to have more within society to build up to that. So that was a good start, but that's absolutely not enough. So I can I can understand maybe why they'd be worried about projecting that. I don't know, but wait, who's, oh, is this Mitzi? Oh my gosh. And I don't mean like they'd be worried about presenting it. It's just, you know, just getting married isn't enough. And maybe an LGBT person just doesn't want to get married. That shouldn't be a goal if they don't want it to be in. Oh, Mitzi. Oh, Mitzi, you are so cute. Mitzi's a Siamese cat, right? Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, 
I am getting such good villagers, like no complaints. There were a few, there were a few questionable ones, but so far, not bad, not bad. Okay. Infused water dispenser? Oh, is that the one that has like all the fruit inside? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. That's so great. I have been looking for that since the beginning. So who knows? Oh, maybe I could have Colton and Coach run like a juice bar or something because I've moved them sort of close to the beach on the west side of the island. So that would be a really cool, you know, joint venture with the couple, right? That would be cool. Oh, and they would have a beach wedding because of course they would. Of course they would. They would be so cute. I should do a video on that, I think. Like just get them all ready to go. We have to get a we have to get rings though. Oh. There's so much plannings. I think I'm going to plan <laughs> I'm going to plan more for two fictional characters' weddings than the how hard, you know, our wedding was because I think it took us about, let's see, our wedding was, I think we planned it a couple of months in advance, but for the most part, we had the chillest, you know, most laid back wedding ever. And one of our friends who was witness to the the wedding was like, that was the best wedding ever because it took five minutes. And when I say like the wedding took five minutes, it literally took five minutes. It was just getting everybody in the room and having the, the person like do the I do's. And then we had catering for a couple of hours. And then, you know, we went to a speakeasy in the evening. It was the best. It was the best. But, you know, I don't know. It was different strokes for different folks, right? If you want to have a fantastic, glamorous wedding, go for it. But, you know, being able to get ready to live with my husband when we were long distance was significantly more important and that's significantly more expensive. So that's what we did. That's what we did. But I think planning for the the big fat gay wedding that we all want in Animal Crossing sounds fun. That should be a movement. That would be so cool. So the bamboo has not been problematic. I'm not worried about it yet. Who's here? Oh, is this Eugene? Oh yeah, Eugene also looks like he would survive a murder movie. He would. He would. But not today, Eugene. Not today. Not today. My problem is Walt is becoming a big favorite on my island and Ed, I don't think Ed can ever leave because you need to have your, your fictional therapist nearby, right? Although there's like friendship things, so maybe we're not I'm not his client anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Ed and Walt have to be on the island and Oh man, what happens if Eunice... Oh, that... So, okay. If once Nana leaves, and if Festa decides to grace Oldport with her loveliness, she'll be taken. I, I know that I said that I try really hard to not have more than one of the same species, but I have three horses, so what is this life anymore? I'm going to be so mad if Festa is on this. Actually not, because I, I do miss Festa a lot. I do, I do. But there's just so much like to look forward to in the next upcoming months in Animal Crossing. I mean, the port's finally getting built up and I I guess that really need a lot of work. I really just need to hunker down and like get a, a nice cold one and just sit and, and just decorate for a couple of hours in between, you know, doing Ring Fit Adventure and, you know, being an adult because uh, you need to be an adult. All right, this island type usually worries me because every time that I have to work to get up to it, I'm going to get let down. So let's see. Let's see. All right, is it worth the trip? Oh, is this Pinky? There's only one Pinky in this world, and it, he he's with Brain. So, oh my gosh. I think he's not bad though. I I haven't I haven't had the best luck when it comes to the bear villagers. 
um, except for Ursula. Ursula threw, um, threw me my birthday party on, on Everkeep. So that is forever in my mind as a, as a great experience. But Teddy was pretty underwhelming. He and Paula became this power couple where they did nothing but pumping iron this like the entire time they were on Everkeep and Paula's still there. She's calmed down a little bit, but that's really all she does is she wears her track jacket and her, I feel that they're hideous, but the sport shades that are orange in color, just ugh. And she doesn't just hang out with anybody. So again, if that's your life, you do what you need to do. I don't know, just we're not vibing. Oh, I got something from Adi, that's nice. And I already know this recipe. So let's commit some littering. It's paper, it's biodegradable, it's fine. And we'll head back. But I'm, I'm getting so worried. I, I mostly, I'm still sitting on whether or not I should just take the 81st villager and just roll with it, or if I should try to find Eunice somewhere through some means. I'm so scared. It would be very funny. And I, I don't I don't say this to manifest Raymond because I talk about how much I don't like him and the more that I talk about him I'm starting to realize that maybe it's this love hate thing that I, I really I want to change my mind you know and I feel that way about Rocket in the in the sense that you know if I had her on my island I'm sure that I would grow to like her Bubbles now Bubbles is a a hard pass for me but I would try you know I would try to like to like them I do like the fact that. The boy villagers will wear your custom designs, and so with um, with a few of the custom designs, I've turned the coats to look like they're cardigans over skirts, and my boys wear them proudly because, you know, skirts belong to everybody, and I just, I do like the fact that the boy villagers will wear feminine clothing. I really love that. So I've seen images of of Raymond being in maids dresses or outfits, which there's there's a lot to unpack with that, but I, I do I do appreciate it and he, he just owns it, you know? Smug villagers are like, you know, this usually isn't my style, but I will roll with anything that's cute. And I'm just like, yeah, you do that. You rock that. So I, I will give him a feather in his cap for that. You know, like that's that's some A plus going against the 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 gender you know, expectations of, of certain types of people. But let's see, who do we have? Who do we have? Oh, we have Apollo. Oh, again, after dealing with Frank, the, the Eagles, I, I just, I don't feel wowed by them at all. The cranky Eagles would just be kind of copy paste of one another, but I don't know. I may I may just be biased, you know? I maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Apollo is great, but I don't know. I did visit the Biden campaign, Animal Crossing Island, and they had Apollo on their island because of course they did. Uh, I don't know if the dream address is still in effect, but the the Biden campaign had their island to look like DC and I used to live in DC and it was it was it was pretty accurate it was very cool I do like the villagers that are based off of real animals I think it's really cool that they feature the uh, the bald eagle and that's awesome but at the same time at the same time no not today not today Wilbur you were doing so well you were doing so well with lady villagers let's let's stay on point here Let's just have like sheep villager after sheep villager. Let's just put that manifestation where we just see all the sheep. I don't know if I've seen all the sheep actually. Or maybe I have because how many are there in this game? I've seen Pietro. I've seen... I've seen Wendy. I've seen Timbra. I've seen... Well, I've had Vesta. I haven't seen Eunice. I think I've seen the majority of them, I think, but, you know, let's just manifest having sheep villager after sheep villager. Let's do that. Let's try that. And also, we haven't seen any of the ostrich villagers yet. We haven't seen any alligators. We haven't seen any birds. We haven't seen any dogs yet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's, let's do some variety. 
I'm not going to invite them, but I would still like to see them, you know? I think that's the journey of of finding a villager is that you just you want to see what gets you there. So, Orville, tell Wilbur, please and thank you, that we want Eunice. We would like Eunice, please. 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 Because we're already, we're already nearing an hour and a half. And we've had some great villagers. I already feel like I'm... Oh, that's definitely not a sheep, though. There was... Did you guys see that, though? There was, like... There was, like, this shark moan of, like, dun 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 Ooh, we have an... No, I already have so many horse villagers, though. Is this Elmer? Is this Elmer? Yep. Elmer's pretty cute, though. But I already have three. I already have three. I will be accused of, like, having a racetrack or something, and I don't... I don't support that, so let's not. But Elmer, Elmer, you are cute. I hope that you find a, a nice island that has all these apples and places to roam and whatever it is that horses do in secret that they don't want humans to know about. So let's go. Oh, but he is super cute. He is probably one of the cuter horse villagers. Although to be honest, I don't think there are any horse villagers that aren't cute. Peaches has the plus eyes, though. Another video that I'd like to do is I'd like to have the, the 10 villagers that I don't like and I have to sell why they do well on your island. That'd be interesting. And just like the ones that people don't want to have and the ones that I don't like. If I tried to explain why Raymond is on there, they'd be like, but he's a top favorite, though. And I'm like, yeah, but he's your top favorite. He's not my top favorite. But, I mean, I think Rodney would be on that list. I'm sure Tabby and Truffles would be on that list. I haven't had Rodney yet, but Tabby and Truffles were pretty great. I think that's another, I think that's another villager that I would have on my island again, is I would have Tabby. Tabby was is a peppy villager that loves to sing, and so having her and Marina on the island at the same time, they sang regularly, and it's just they just picked a place and they just burst out into song. And because I realized that the the villagers with the music hobbies are more inclined to sing regularly, I've been looking for villagers with certain house designs and also having the music hobby so they'll just sing and so having hopper the our my my little grumpy rock hopper penguin just like cranky villager singing is a delight it really is so if you ever are on the search for a cranky villager just look for one that has a a uh, the music hobby and i highly recommend it and is that is that boots i think that's boots boots buddy what is with this jester outfit? Where's your hat? Your wilderness training as a clown? Is it dangerous or something? We finished, uh, <laughs> every show that we try to just, like, take our time with, we've binged. So, I think Shadow and Bone we watched in one day. Disenchantment we watched in two days. There was, oh, um, A Discovery of Witches Season 2 we've watched in, like, two days. But... In uh, Disenchantment, there's this uh, ongoing joke in the series where the jester is cast out of um, Dreamland's castle, and he goes, oh no. And so whenever I see Booth, I just, I just think of him going, oh no. <laughs> but yeah, oh, if you are looking for something to watch, those three shows, you will probably binge the entire thing in a day when you have work the next day because that's what we did and it was glorious that grenning his his shows have just progressed and evolved in such a beautiful way i i still have an issue with the simpsons just because i know the whole point is to highlight how toxic the the middle class family dynamic is featured 
in cartoons, like the bumbling idiot father, the um, the human giver, uh, martyr uh, self, like victimhood housewife, the you know undiagnosed child with ADHD that isn't given any form of discipline, the golden child, you know, like all of that stuff. Like, I understand why Simpsons is brilliant, and I do think it's brilliant, but I just get so mad watching it. Drama and disenchantment are just, they're just perfect. And what I find really interesting is we have been watching the earlier show, like the earlier seasons of of the Simpsons. And I think we're on season three, so it's the early 90s at this point. But we're seeing little um, Easter eggs of like elves in uh, in Lisa's bedroom, for example. And I'm just like, oh, he's been like, he's been thinking of this for decades. His shows come together in such a beautiful way. And I'm just like, oh, you are a genius. So I, I just, I highly recommend Disenchantment because it's not, it's, it's very funny, but it's also like real and, oh, another mouse. Oh, who is this? Who is this? You are pink and very, oh, candy. You are peppy. Oh, that's cool. Well, you, you continue being fab. I'm going to search for Eunice. The more that I see the mouse villagers, the, the more okay I am with them. There's a few of them whose designs are a bit eh. But I do like Chatter a lot. I think of all of the mice, Chatter is the least problematic. And I do think that I get along with the smug villagers a lot more than the others. It's like smugs and normals, and I can handle one peppy at a time. One peppy. And... I think two snooty villagers have been okay at the same time, but just, I can't, I can't imagine the drama implosion by having multiple peppies on at the same time. They would just feed off of each other. It would be insane. You just, you can't, you can't, you have to let it come naturally. You can't form that chaos by yourself. I don't know if I've ever had a, cr like, two crankies at the same time, though. I think that would also be kind of... A little too much unless you were doing a a retirement getaway for for the oldies you know so like doby um and you well most of the cranky villagers you'd have to have gonzo absolutely have gonzo um and elise the the monkey that represents kind of an older villager or at least kind of would be that that coach that that physical therapy coach that works with like older people that'd be cool that'd be awesome there's just so many themes that you can do for your island and there's only so many islands that you can do at a time all right Ooh, let's actually use the right tool that would be nice that would be nice We have Vivian. Oh my goodness, Vivian. I, are you, are you planning to leave Everkeep? Are you on a mission for another island? You haven't given me your photo though. That is the only reason why you haven't left. Actually, no, I'm going to be really sad when I amiibo her out because I want, I want Anka. I have this plan to have Anka run like a day spa sort of thing on, on Everkeep, but oh my gosh. Vivian is also one of those popular villagers that deserves all the hype. She has been, since the beginning, a fantastic villager. So if you find this lovely girl, adopt her. Just treat her like the queen she is. She's just a delight. We've been, we've been at this for an hour and a half. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. some point I may have to uh, to pause the video and get a drink and then resume okay all right I got some water since I had thought about it and I'm going to resume but I've realized that trying to get a fully developed island 
all ready to go by Halloween, and then on top of it, making a maze. Oh my gosh, I'm a little nervous about it because I, I've, I've said it once, and I've said it so many times, is I'm not, I'm not good at mazes in the slightest. I had to redo Rover's maze three times, maybe four times, I don't remember. It was, it was quite a bit, and I was able to get the briefcase eventually by finding a tutorial, and then I thought, oh, I remember how to do this, I'm going to do it again on the other island, and I still needed the tutorial. <laughs> so, just coming up with a way to make the maze that is doable, it's absolutely doable, but it's it's still it's still engaging and it's still hard and you can still tell that the the villagers on the island walk around and enjoy the experience i don't know like i i i'm still a little nervous about it i'm still trying to build up and i do have 10 months to go not 10 months five months i can math oh is this lyman oh my god this is another villager that I would be absolutely okay with having. He was a starter villager on a family member's island, and she's been... I wonder if she still has him. I'll have to ask. But she... I think she gave him a really expensive crown, and so, I mean, he, he is the king on that island. He is such... he's so sweet. But that's cool. Lyman, you continue being awesome. He and he and Hazel can have unibrow tips because just he he slays it. And I have not been I have not been collecting any of the Oh oh dear. Oops. Oh geez. Oh geez. Oh geez. We're gonna run. We're gonna run. We're gonna run. We are going to run and we're gonna talk to Oh no! And Wilbur, you're just like watching me get stung? Really? Ugh. <sighs> Wilbur, well, I know, I know where your loyalty lies. You're just gonna watch me get stung. Wow, wow, you are absolutely not in my will when this haunted uh, island goes under. <sighs> Wilbur, I feel so betrayed. I feel so betrayed. <sighs> 